about our journal from the following slides. So first, I would like to introduce, uh, let's, let's see what is ELSA. So, since applications, we also call it ELSA for short. And it's an international academic journal aiming to publish high quality optics and photonics research from all over the world. And ELSA was uh, launched in 2012 published by Nature Publishing Group. It is now Spring Nature and Chandra Institute of Optics and Mechanics of and, of and Physics in China. ELSA is actually the first type of uh, MPG and physics in China. And the latest uh, important feature of ELSA is 20.2757. ELSA has been at the top three among all the optical journals for almost eight years. And from the Google metric, we can also see ELSA ranks second in optics field. So what topics we really look looking forward? So first, most important thing is your work must be about optics and photonics. And more details here, topics of uh, ELSA include, but not limited as follow. We can see from here, it's almost a comprehensive optics. We also publish different types of uh, papers, like a range article, review article, perspective, news and views, and so on. But here, I would like to point out that only a written article and the review article welcome the free submission. What is the important optics and the ones in optics fields? ELSA also have launched a few special issues like uh, following. And among them, the first uh, paper uh, relevant to the digital coding cycle methods. It's uh, well, it was published in 2014, and it has led to almost uh, over 1,700 citations mm -hmm. so far. So it's a super hot uh, paper and uh, bringing the physical and digital words. We recently also check uh, the publication records in recent years uh, involving the Cambridge authors. We can see from the data that uh, the uh, subsequent uh, of this paper are really uh, impressive. So recently, we also have a discussion with Professor Da Pingchu about uh, organizing a Cambridge special issue. We really hope this issue can low, uh, can launch soon, soon and uh, really welcome your excellent uh, work. I see what makes ELSA a high reputation journal. First, I would highlight some of our super editorial board. All our editorial board members are distinguished experts and their research interests almost cover, uh, cover all the fields of the optics and the photonics. And uh, here I would like to really appreciate Professor Chu Da Ping uh, because he is also one of our excellent editor and give us a lot of contributions and support. Thank you so much. Okay. So currently we have uh, about 72 members from 18 countries. And uh, we generally call these members, call them as expert editor. Since the beginning, ELSA has adopted the expert editors and in-house editors called working this mechanism. And uh, we always say ELSA is the journal organized for serving scientists. But on the other hand, ELSA is also a journal organized by scientists. We fully believe in that uh, the, uh, the quality of the journal is depending on the experts and editors call. So with uh, outstanding qualified editors, ELSA has achieved a lot uh, milestones for herself. And uh, since 2014, 
we also set up uh, uh, our own regional offices. These offices launched in the cities like London, Paris, Edinburgh, and Sydney, and so on. So far, we have already set up 16 regional offices, and they supplies outside extension with uh, eight hawk editors. From the top, uh, top journals in optics and photonics, we also greatly rely on the huge support from our authors, reviewers, and our readers. From the life, uh, from the life the table, we can see. Elsa has a steady increase in its submissions number every year. That means more and more authors know Elsa well and choose us as a place to uh, publish their excellent work. They also start a solid foundation of high quality manuscripts for Elsa. So accordingly, in return, Elsa also has an increase in its publication volume. Year by year, you can see. From the bottom table, we also find that among the top five journal in optics, Elsa ranked the first in, in terms of its publication volume. I would like to introduce some. Did you just translate the from the previous slide? What are the characters? What what Chinese is characters? <laughs> right. <laughs> just to tell them that's okay. In the table, that's fine. So sorry, this means sub submission and this rejection <laughs> and this publication. Okay. So sorry. We learned something. Thank you. <laughs> nice. Let's find you some graduate ones founded by Elsa. So let's begin with the LED conference. LED conference is an in international and annual gathering for the optical scientists in the optics and photonics. And it started in 2011. At uh, that time, we were just uh, preparing for launching the ELSA. Since then, it uh, quickly grew from a friends gathering into um, a big annual event, which can attract almost uh, 400 attendees a year. And due to the COVID, that conference has been canceled twice, but each storm comes to an end. This year, that conference is coming back. So here, I uh, generally welcome you to join us to join Light Conference 2023 in Changchun. Also pay a lot of attention and support to the growth and the development, development of these young scientists in optics. For example, we have uh, uh, started the Light Science, uh, Light Young Scientists Award and the Light Young Scientist Forum and uh, uh, a very prominent event named Rising Stars of Light. I think some of you may be hear about this. This uh, Rising Stars of Light is actually a worldwide competition for those shining young scientists in optics. It started in 2018 and so far has organized four times and influenced almost 600,000 audience. Currently, it's also slighted as a featured event of the International Day of Light. This is a very famous uh, celebration in the optics community. Since 2014, Elsa has become the golden partner of the International Year of Light. And that year, we contributed a lot to the promotion of optics. And uh, after that, Elsa was slighted, also invited to become the co-founder of the uh, International Day of Light, uh, of Light. And since then, every year on the International Day of Light, Elsa also organize a lot of uh, highlight events to celebrate it. During the COVID, Elsa also held the light online talk, that's a light online talk. This uh, is a platform 
to to for the communicating in the uh, within the optics society. And uh, we host a lot of online lectures and so and the other events attracted almost millions of audience. Also have a multi-channel resources to pr promote our journal and uh, our papers like uh, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and uh, YouTube, and so on. In, com in combining with um, with the media way, ISA also explores a new way to promote uh, the high quality research work in optics and those distinguished experts in this field. So here, I would like to show you some clips. Uh, this is about Professor Jimmy Bomberg from the Cavendish Lab. This video is about his recent work published on the uh, ELSA. We made it and released released this uh, this video the same time as their paper published online to help them promote their paper more widely. On the paper, you see we uh, have done a lot of events like conference, competition, talk show, or, or like that. So what we really want to, to guide from that, that is take a full toad in China and then to see the world, to become a sense media with high impact, and then provide a more powerful service for the optics and photonic society. I would like to introduce you to uh, sister journals of ELSA. They are Elite and uh, Light Advanced Manufacturing. In 2021, the same team of us uh, started the two sister journals for different purposes. For Elight, it's, it's co-published co by Sam and Spring Nature, and uh, <clears throat> it's aiming at those emerging and multidisciplinary topics and want to publish the groundbreaking research work. The target first uh, impact factor of Elight is, is over 30. Another one is Light Advanced Manufacturing. It's co published uh, by the SAM and the Jihua Lab in China. And uh, it seems that like those light based manufacturing research work and uh, its first impact factor target is over 10. So currently, these two journals will uh, offer the authors very big benefits like a free charge of publication fee like a cover story and some other ways, uh, other methods to promote their, their research work and so on. I think maybe the most interesting part today, I think many of you will be interested in how else like to, uh, an article on the how we can do a paper. Okay, so first I would like to introduce you our workflow, what will happen to your submission? When your submission is in the ELSA system, in host editor, we'll have a quick check on it. This time, mainly focus on the format, the overlap rate, and if the topic is suitable for ELSA and so on. If your paper is going well, it will be sent to our editor-in-chief and our expert editor to have an academic check. This period will take about one or two weeks, and most of the papers were, uh, will be rejected during this time. About 75% uh, papers yeah, be rejected here. If everything goes very well, your paper will be sent out for peer reviewing. After we get all the review requirements, our editing team will make the decision based on these comments and our editor's recommendation. recommendation. This period will take almost two months. Mm -hmm. If you get a reviewing request, okay, that means two things. First, you need to adequately address all the uh, reviewer's comments, and then maybe your resubmission will take uh, 
another round peer reviewing. And after that, your article will be get accepted by ELSA. And uh, maybe about one month later, it will be published on ELSA. So on average, the length of the time for a paper to go whole through process will take about 150 days. But if your article is in a very, very special situation, very urgent situation, like maybe you know some other team is going to publish the same work on other journal, then you can write to us for the green track. We also call it green channel. Uh, if your application is confirmed, you will get a speedy process. The average of the green track paper will only take uh, 45 days. And the body still record is about 23 days. So let's see what kind of the decision lighter you may get. Some flavor. So first one, you may get a quick rejection. And maybe with the suggestion that uh, please submit to your article somewhere else. I'm so sorry, this means this may be maybe your article is not very suitable for ELSA. And this decision generally comes with between chip directly without uh, peer reviewing. And the second, maybe you also get a rejection after peer reviewing. I fully understand it's so disappointing, but if you are still confident on your article or you have uh, questions on reviewers' comments, you can appeal to us. We will talk it to de uh, detailed later. And next, maybe you also get a decision asking you to make a make a revision to make a drive to the reviewer's comments. Okay, nothing much to say. Just do it. For other, for the other two decision letters, we suppose they are happy ones because when you get them, that means your articles will be published on Elsa soon. So. Congratulations. Back to the appeal process. If you decide to appeal, please remember the following things. First, please make a reasonable and compelling scientific argument. Here, please note, never be emotional, especially the personal attacks on reviewers can't, can't help you. And second, maybe you need to provide some new results or analysis. And if you find reviewers maybe made some errors on your article or they missed some important points, then please write a clear and reasonable clarification to us. The partner of the Nature Publishing Group, uh, the manuscript can be transferred between ELSA and the other nature journals. This transfer can save authors a lot of time because there is no reformatting, no rekeying, no resubmission. It's very efficient. And when the transfer takes place between native journals, the review reports and the reviewers' identities also can be transferred. So nice, let's see what kind of paper Elsa is looking forward. The first. I think your paper should have uh, the crucial novelty or innovation. We understand each research work has its own novelty, but what we really care about is how big change it will bring to the field and how much forward it will carry and uh, how huge the field is. The second, maybe your paper need to be interesting to a broad range of readers. It can be only useful to your own group or a very narrow field. It should be reach a concurrent of interest of to many other scientists. Here, uh, here are some tips maybe you can refer to. For example, maybe your article can be important at once in scientific understanding, having new concepts, or a three out first experimental demonstration of well-known theory or it can make a significant step forward in how it feels like this. Well, what kind of manuscripts 
will be easier, will be easier get accepted by Elsa. The trick is to be a trusted person to Elsa. Uh, there are two ways you can be a trusted author or you'll be a trusted uh, reviewer. For example, maybe you previously published uh, your paper on Elsa and uh, we will check your previ previous papers to see yeah, its situation. If it has a very high download volume or very high citation, okay, then we can ask Bill, your work will have a very broad interest in the field and be very welcoming to our readers. But by contrast, if your previous work has a very low amount of volume or no citation, that will make us sort of think that your work maybe cannot be interested to our readers. So your new work will be specifically tracked. And the second way, maybe you can uh, contribute to Elsa to review some papers. If your reviewed papers has a very high impact after publication, you will be marked as a trusted reviewer for Elsa and even slighted as a new best reviewer. Then you are work will be more welcome by Elsa. So we always say a great paper also tells a great story. So we really hope that uh, well, when you prepare your paper, not only focus on, on the rigorous or the comprehensive, it also uh, could uh, pay attention to, to the way you tell the story. Always remember you are writing to the audience, to your readers, not only to your peers. Your, your paper should be engaging and easily understandable. So please use more clear and the robust message in your article. Okay. We know many challenges are there when you're publishing a paper. But if you choose us, all of this, all of the stuff from that will will be committed to support you. So, thank you. That's all my talk today. Your attention. Bye. Thank you for this comprehensive coverage, and uh, I think it shows a lot of effort being put in, and. Uh, of course, no surprisingly, the huge success they have made. So now I think this talk is open to questions. Oh. Yeah. Hello. Thank you for the slide, thing, Paul. Uh, I have a general question based on what you said, uh, uh, those two sister journals that mm -hmm. you have, one of them, the impact factor, maybe like about 30, right? Yeah. How do you? How can you get some numbers like this from the beginning? Because actually, when a paper published, uh, we can see the citation and some data, uh, some data of it, and we just uh, calculate based on the current uh, current data. Then the and the real impact factor is almost uh, over thirty. So we can have a pre a prediction that. Uh, the final impact factor, the first impact factor, may be also the same. It's still based on the number of citations. Yes. That you have gained over this period of time. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Any other questions? I seem to remember I looking at your um article requirements and so on. Um, am I right in saying that you accept? like longer articles than some of your like competing journals. Like I feel, I feel like your word counts might be like up to 6,000 or something where others are up to 3,000. So let me talk to each type of paper. Yeah, for an article though, I, th I thought it was longer for you than say Nature Photonics or. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, uh, so generally we have limited to the paper, the article paper, maybe no more than six, uh, 6,000 yeah. words. But sometime, you know, Authors will have a, a long, a long content to express their work. So, so sometimes we can't uh, strictly to ask them to shorten their paper. So maybe you will see some paper longer than that. 
but the limit uh, policies no more than six. Months. Even even that I think is quite is quite long. It's quite long. Like I'm not saying I'm I'm just asking like what your thinking was or yeah I I think it's a good good thing I'm just curious. Uh, so uh, so okay for my opinion if we found some paper too long we will first suggest also to shorten them. But if the author respond, oh, sorry, I can't shorten because if uh, I do like that, maybe I can't express my work very clearly. So this time we will respond to author's choice. We will allow them to do their do the thing they want. Okay, to express to express them clear. Yeah. So we just give the policy, but the final thing is depending. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Other questions for anybody online? Might be. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Yes. Yes. Thank you very much. It was a very, very interesting talk. Thank you. I just had a question about when um, we would like to submit online science applications. Um, I think um, the journal asks us always to pick some elements, and there are maybe like three or four choices. And how can we, for example, pick wisely um, which of the editors would be more suitable for us? For example, we are in this same building with Professor Chu. We cannot submit with Professor Chu. <laughs> but who can we? You certainly can choose Professor <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's a very good question. Actually, we have listed all the numbers used on our website. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can have a check on our website about their background, their research in history, and then you can make a choice which one you want to choose. Okay. Ask, but um, is it good? Can we uh, uh, choose many? Would it be wiser to choose many more? Or yeah, I, <laughs> okay, it's it's okay to choose uh, choose some of them because maybe sometimes often maybe um, during this time it's very busy. Maybe they can't take this duty. So if you give us more chance, uh, yeah, we can try one by one. Maybe <laughs> yeah. Okay, thank you so much. Aided to your question, you cannot choose anyone from your own institution. <laughs> Any other questions? Come to see. Oh, oh yes, yeah, I, I forgot to say thank you for the talk as well. Great. Um, when is the when uh, you mentioned the Cambridge edition? Like, when are you thinking that might be happening? The, the, did you say that a Cambridge specific uh, uh, Cambridge uh, special issue? Yeah, issue. Yeah. Maybe professor. <laughs> Maybe the professor has uh, been in discussion with uh, us and uh, uh, proposed that we have a special issue to gather the Cambridge strands. So we are in discussion. Hopefully, we could uh, in the next couple months put out a, a call and for people to consider. Uh, so, uh, but uh, the publication itself is uh, a gradual one. So if we put out a call, is uh, you can submit and be considered. When they've been reviewed, accepted, it will be published online immediately, and then so on. And we intend to keep it open. I don't know how long for six months or whatever the period. Then we can collect all the people who prepare for it. In this year. Mm -hmm. The other questions. Okay, if I have a question, can you hear me? Okay. Ah, yes, we can hear you. Sorry, we could not see you on the screen. Yeah. That's okay. I'm probably not worth looking at anyway. Um, I think it's you, right? Yeah. It is, yeah. Th Dr. Yuan, thank you very much for an interesting presentation. It was great to see the journal flourish and develop so well over the past 10, 11 years. Um, I have a quick question about the light advanced manufacturing uh, sister journal uh, that you mentioned in your talk. Has this been launched already? It's launched in 2021 20, and uh -huh. almost uh, two years now. Okay. Published, uh, maybe sixty more than that uh, papers already. Excellent. Great. Well, I'll I'll certainly check that one out. Thank you very much for 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 that information. To nobody else, then let's send the speaker again. Thank you very much.